In this video with the Anking, we're going to learn about the Anking note types. Lots of new fun ones. In making this video, uh, I spent a lot of time and a lot, a lot of money actually in, in designing these note types to make them as useful as possible for you, including a new add-on here that I'll pull up that will make it so that you actually don't have to have any knowledge of coding. You can just go ahead and change the shortcuts, colors, everything that you need. Uh, I really am trying to make it as easy as possible. So this video is going to be a little more detailed of what I have here in the GitHub repository, which is where everything is home. This is this is home base. This is where all the note type scripts are. Uh, we put a lot of work into this. Now, if you start out here, there's actually a lot of tutorials. You can always go back to this, or you can go back to this video to learn how to do things. Like I said, this actually did cost a lot of money uh, in, in making this and developing it, and we're going to try and continue to keep the software as up to date as possible. So we would appreciate your support in any way possible, uh, whether it be through Patreon, subscribing and commenting on this video or anything. Uh, so this is this is where it all starts. Now here's how you update the note types and things like this. This is actually subject to change after I make this video because the add-on that I just barely showed you, uh, we're going to try and make it so that everything can be controlled through that add-on. You can update note types and everything through just through that. Um, but this does go through a few of the features uh, of the note types. Uh, there's a couple other videos I've made on how to customize the HTML and CSS of the notes. But like I said, this add-on will hopefully make it so that you don't need to do that. However, at the end of this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you the HTML, CSS of the cards so that if you are more into the coding side of things, you can, you can change it that way if you prefer. One quick thing I need to interject here is that if you are having issues with the note type or you have suggestions on how we can improve this or change this, uh, my best recommendation would be to create a GitHub account, go to this repository under issues, and you can create a new issue. Uh, and then you can say it's a bug report, a feature request, or just a question about this. We'll try and manage this as best as possible. Um, obviously, if there's a bug report, we would love to know. When you click on that, it's going to ask you for a lot of information. What version of Anki you're on, uh, if you're on Mac, Win Windows, Linux, because they do operate a little bit differently, uh, the error messages, all of that, just to give us as much information as possible so that we can troubleshoot it. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and go through all these features here slowly, and, um, and then hopefully you can understand everything that's going on. I'm going to use the add-on to start, so it's under the Onking menu and the note types here. And you can see there's a bunch of different note types. I'll make this large. Uh, you can see these are the note types we currently have. And each of these is a little bit different. This is a general note type just for you know your overall use. I use this for classes. Uh, this is because I'm going into dermatology, so I made one specifically for that. There's the MCAT, the Onking Overhaul, which has a lot more fields and is a little more, more complicated. This is just a general basic note type. This is a language note type that's designed to work with an add-on that does Google Translate. Uh, and then I'll show you this image occlusion one by one. It's really cool, uh, really amazing note type. And then these two are essentially the same as the Onking and the IO one by one. It's just designed for the company Physio, so you don't need to worry about that. But anyway, we'll go to general. This part here will uh, it, it will do everything, every note type if you change things. And, and there's some things that are very uh, simple here, like uh, here's the background colors and stuff. I'm going to save this and actually open up a note type so you can see. Um, and we'll flip this over with the space bar. So you can see this is what the note looks like. Here's the extra section. If I pop this open, you can see there's four fields. There's the text section, the extra section, the personal notes, and the missed questions. And then there's this field here at the bottom, go one by one. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but those four are the ones where you put your content. So here is the close, here's the, uh, the extra section, here's the personal notes, and here's the missed questions. And you can open these two if you have the hint hotkeys add-on with the H key. Um, you can also use uh, uh, generally all of these. There's Alt 1 and Alt 2, uh, or if there's more buttons, then it would be Alt 3, 4, 5. Uh, you can also use the uh, apostrophe key, and it will open all of them at once. Um, so a couple different things you can do to open these buttons. You can also, through this here, you can uh, make them open up automatically as well. Uh, so especially pertinent if you're using something like the Onking Overhaul note type, which has a lot. Um, you can actually go into the fields here and disable them. Uh, so if you never want to see this field ever. Uh, but also you can go into the hint buttons and you can auto reveal certain fields. So if we say I want to auto reveal the lecture notes, um, so that it just always shows up at first. I come into here, uh, and as I flip the card, you can see lecture notes is already revealed. Uh, just kind of handy if you're always opening a field. I'm going to go through just the simple parts of it, and, and just to give you an idea. So I am in night mode, so these colors right here do not apply right at the moment. 
um, they would be the night mode colors. So there's a night mode text color, the night mode background color, uh, and you can edit these. You can see there's the blue for the clothes color. Here's the blue here. Now this one is not this pink color simply because I made it that color in the card, but no, if I hadn't made it a color, it would be this uh, more magenta color. And then you can actually make it so that bold, underlined, and italic text have different colors as well. Uh, so those are fairly straightforward. You click on it, you can change the colors to whatever you want. Uh, very easy. This close here is to reveal the close shortcuts. Um, and this is when I go into the one by one, uh, I'll get to that. Uh, then we've got the font. It's just the font size and the family. So you can see if we wanted to make this itty bitty, we can change it, make it small. We'll save, I'll get out of this and go back in. Uh, and you can see things are very tiny now. So we'll go back in, I don't wanna, um, I don't wanna do that for now. <laughs> so we'll go back to 28. And then there's the font family as well. Um, the hit buttons, you can, this is what I was saying where you use the apostrophe key and it does all of them. You can also scroll down to the button. So if there's a lot of content, it will automatically scroll down to that button when you open it, if you, if you have this box checked. Uh, the image styling is like how high or wide do you want it? It's kind of uh, self-explanatory. The tags here, I'll show you in just a second. This basically, let's, let, uh, uh, it's the shortcut that you can turn the tags on and off. Uh, this is if the tags have a certain thing. So I'm just gonna change this to, oops, test. Not working quite like I wanted it to, sorry. There we go. Um, and then this, this add-on is a little bit in alpha phase as I'm making this video, but we're gonna be updating it. And then this is, do you want the tags to show up on the card when you're on desktop or when you're on mobile? So it is gonna show up on desktop and I'll show you this right now. So we'll save this, uh, we'll get out here, come back in, you can see our font size is back. Here's the note type. If you have the clickable tags add-on, you can click that, it will actually pull up all cards with that note type in the browser. Now when I'm here, if I use the C key was the shortcut, it will make that tag disappear. I can push the C key again and it pops back up. Now if I edit this card and we add a new tag that is test tag, so it has that test, which is what I added and kind of struggled through there to add. Uh, added that there, if I click test, now you can see there's a red banner here um, on the front and it's not on the back because we chose not to do that. But it's just something like if you have a tag that's for missed questions or things that you want to pay more attention to, it just highlights the bottom here red. Uh, makes it a little easier to know, oh, I need to pay attention to that. So let's go back into the note types. Pull up this dialog. Here's the timer. And the timer will go off after nine seconds. Let's change it to two for now, just to make it easy. This is what the timer does. It pops up right here. And you can see in our colors, I've made the timer text color actually transparent. Let's turn it on, I'll make it red just so that you can see it for now. Uh, I'll click save and we'll get out of this. We'll go back in and go in. Now you can see the timer's counting down there and then pops up. So I usually make the timer invisible just because I don't wanna see it and I'd rather not have to worry about it. But then when it pops up, this pops up just subtly and lets me know, hey, I probably need to like move on with my car. Just kind of keeps me going. A lot of people find that it's really stressful. Uh, you can just turn it off if you don't want it. And just uncheck it and then you don't have to worry about it. Uh, so that's what I'd recommend. And then flip to back of the card automatically. That's if we do the close one by one. So I'm going to talk about that now. And this is what is going to hide our close one by one. Uh, this is what toggles all the shortcuts and just reveals them one at a time. So let's get out of this. We'll go back. And here's a one by one example. And you can see there's multiple one or, or close ones. So you can see here's a hint and there's these and then this has a sentence. And notice that there's text down here in the one by one field. I just put a Y for yes, but you could put literally anything. As long as there's text in that field, this card will turn into a one by one card. Uh, now notice, I, I should have mentioned this earlier, I'm gonna use note and card, not interchangeably. Note is this note specifically uh, and, and with all of these. If I were to add a close two deletion here, then there would be two cards and one note. Uh, just an important difference as you're going through Anki, it's helpful to know that. Anyway, let's go back to our one by one. So if I go ahead and show answer and flip this over, you'll notice that it has hidden mine with this, uh, except for when there's a hint, then it does this, but it changes it to a different color just so that it's very obvious. Now you can click these, or you can use the shortcut N, or you can use the shortcut for toggle all as the apostrophe. So if I use N, you'll see that it pops up. I use N again and N again. I'm gonna get out of it because there's actually a couple different things you can do. We can go in here, you can click, click, 
And let's on this one it was a sentence. I'm gonna hold down uh, the Alt key and click, and, and notice it just does one word, and then click, 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 keeps going. Uh, I can also, if I go back in here, I believe it is Shift N. So I'm gonna do N N, and then I'll hold down the Shift key and do N, and notice it just does the one. So you can just do one word at a time too, which is really cool. So very very powerful note type. Uh, I, I think there's a lot of uses for it. I've been using this and it's kind of cool that we've now combined it so that you can turn any card into a one by one uh, while still using the same note type. Now uh, here's another example of what you can do with this note uh, and I'll t uh, this goes a little more into the CSS. Notice that there's not the crown on here anymore. Um, this is a little different than uh, what the add-on will actually let you do uh, but you can click on these and notice if I click it does the whole thing whereas if I go out um, and I Alt click like before, I can do one word at a time. Um, if I go into the card styling here, I also bring up here, you can configure the onking note types with this. If you click that, it will bring up the same dialog. Um, but if I go to the back template here, you can see that here is the styling of the close. Uh, this is where it gets a little more complicated, but here's what the close is hidden with. Uh, so this is what I've chosen to hide it with. I'll make this a little bigger. Um, and you can do something if I, here's a bunch of examples. So this is fixed length, where if I copy this and do this, now notice there's three words right here, but if I paste this, now all of them are the same length. So you don't know how long things are. Uh, whereas if you do repeat each character with this, this will actually show you uh, how long things are, but it's all like one answer as opposed to a sentence. This one is a little different. Uh, we'll copy that in so you can see what that does. Uh, makes it like that. Um, and then this one here does color filled boxes, but it doesn't work with images, so um, I don't like using it, but it's a little different. And you can choose the color right here. Um, so, anyway, I like to use the crowns and the setup that I have. I think it's a little bit easier. It makes it very obvious that it's a closed note type, um, but you can kind of do whatever you want. Now, another important thing to note with the one by one is if I click here and go here, notice that this is the front of the card and then I show answer and now I'm at the back of the card, but then I have to show them all again, right? Um, whereas if I go to this one, and I, it's immediately on the back of the card. If I hit space, I've just answered the card. Uh, the way that I do that is in the cards here. Uh, there's this auto flip, and that actually is in the um, add-on as well. Let's go to the note types add-on. Pull this up. Uh, you can see if we go to the onking and we go to the auto, let's see, oops. It would be right here. Flip to back automatically. Uh, so you can turn that on or off. And this one is on here. So if I click it, it just automatically flips to the back. It won't work on Anki Joy, but it should work on, um, and on the iOS version of the deck. And we click through these and I keep going. Uh, so tons of really cool things. Very, very useful note type. Uh, now before I go into all the rest of the styling with all of these simply because it's related, let's talk about the uh, image occlusion one by one note type and uh, click study now. Go into this, you can see it's very similar. You can reveal next and you can go through all of these at once. You can toggle all. You don't have to go in order. You can click them out of order. Um, very, very powerful note type. I'll go over how to actually create things on that in just a minute. Uh, so back to more of the design of the note types. We'll go to the note types thing here. And this is, uh, so notice there's a couple differences here when we go to this specifically. Uh, so here's all the closes, here's the colors that we talked about. It's very similar. We tried to keep all the note types the same to make it easy. Now the fields, you can actually disable them. So if you're like, I'm never gonna use this missed questions field, you can just disable it. Uh, and then notice when you, let's go back into this. Uh, when you flip this over, it's no longer there. Uh, so it will still be in this, um, but you can use, this is the collapsible fields add-on, just makes it disappear there, um, or in version 2.1.50 and, and later that will actually be incorporated. So uh, just kind of handy if you're not using things, that's going to be particularly useful for this overhaul note type where there's a bunch of different resources and you may not be using all of them. Uh, you know, you can just get rid of them and then you can go into the add-on here and or if we go to the overhaul, we go to fields, and you can say, I'm not going to use this field, uh, and click save, and then it will just go away. Um, so if I reset back in, you'll notice that field is now gone. So, very handy. Um, okay, a couple other things here. Uh, not just a couple, there's a lot. I know this is a long video, but there's so many cool things we put into these notes. Uh, so the, notice the font is the same. The hint buttons is Alt-1 and Alt-2. You'll notice if I go to the onking overhaul, 
and go to the hint buttons, there's a lot more fields, um, but they all have shortcuts, so very easy. And then the tags, we've already talked about, is very similar on all of the note types. Uh, but what we haven't talked about is front uh, text to speech. Uh, so I can turn this on on the front and the back. Go here, and we can actually um, learn this card. One card to rule them blank. Notice that it says what? It's a one card to rule them blank uh, with a close card. All. And then it will just say all uh, and fill in the close. If it's a basic card, it would read the back of the card. Uh, so very handy if you like text to speech stuff. I tried to make that easier for people to uh, kind of get that in there because I know it's kind of confusing. Uh, and then the last thing, so the timer, and we already talked about flipping to the back. So very, very straightforward across all of the closed note types. Even the basic note types are very, very similar. Um, but I'm going to actually show you that one now because it's a little bit different. Uh, so the basic onking, it's just a basic note type with the two fields here. And then the basic language is a bit different. This one um, has, so if you're learning a language that is uh, needed the romanization, you have that there. You have definitions, examples, and alternative translations. Uh, so this is Anki, which, by the way, if, if you don't know how to pronounce it, it is Anki. It comes from the Japanese word here. Um, and this is, that's what I've done here, is pull in the Japanese thing. So I'm going to make a new card. We'll go add and show you kind of how this add-on works because it's kind of cool and we designed this basic note type to work with the add-on. Uh, so we'll go into the Google Translate add-on here. So I'm going to do test uh, in the front. We'll do the Google Translate add-on. So the source field here is this. Target field will be on the back. We'll do Japanese. Now romanization, you could say I want the the romanization of the English or I want the target romanization, so the romanization of the Japanese, which is what we want. The definitions, we, uh, you know, I put definitions in just from the English side. You can do alternative translation and examples. You can use the translated text to get these if you want. Um, you kind of do it however you want. It doesn't always work perfectly on the add-on side just because of the way Google Translate has information, uh, but it is helpful, so I'll click Start and you can see that that's going to fill in all this information here for me, uh, which is super, super amazing. Uh, so you get the translation, you get the romanization, and all of that stuff. And you can go ahead and add that. So that's what that note type was designed to be. Okay, the next note type is going to be the image occlusion one by one note type, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, so here is the note type. Notice this is the front. Uh, same thing with the other note types. You can get in here, you can say that you want it to flip the card automatically. Um, I, I leave it like this just so that I know that it's image occlusion one by one as opposed to the image occlusion. Um, but you can, I should go back in here, you can um, change what the occlusions are. Let's see the colors. Notice that there are like, oh, it's not in here. Um, there are occlusion colors. Maybe I'll have to get that added to this add-on. There's occlusion colors. We'll go into the card and show you. Uh, like I said, this is still very in alpha phase at the moment as I'm recording this video. Uh, so here's the colors. You can change the colors of the occlusion of these. Uh, so notice it's like red, uh, you got the salmon, the yellow colors, uh, but you can change those. And then well, let's flip to the back. I showed you how this works already. So you can also use the N key, you can use um, the apostrophe key will reveal all of these. The H key for hint hotkeys still reveals all these. You can also use the Alt uh, one two three, uh, and then you can use the comma key to toggle all of these at once. Uh, so how do you make a note type like this? This is a little more difficult. I'm actually gonna screenshot this note type. Let's toggle them all. I'm gonna do my screenshot to clipboard here. Okay, and then I'm gonna add. Uh, we have to select the image occlusion one by one note. Uh, you can put it in whatever deck you want. And then here's the image. And I'm going to paste the image here. And uh, it's, it's fairly large. And then notice there's this image occlusion thing here, which is where it's going to store the image occlusions. And that's toggled by default. So to make them, you have to have the closet add-on. Uh, now, I showed you uh, this GitHub before. And this front readme of the repository, the readme here, has a lot of information. Uh, but if you want to actually learn about the specific note types, you go into the note types here, and there's things specific to those note types. So if you click on basic on King language, you can say, uh, see that I, I've set it up to work with this add-on specifically. Uh, but if we go into the image occlusion one by one, you can see I've put in here, you need to have the closet add-on, you need to have the right note type, and then you're going to follow these instructions, which I'll show you right now. 
So you have your image pasted in here, and then you have this button right here, which is the, uh, this is the closet add-on. You're gonna put the fields into the occlusion mode. So I'm gonna do that, click that, and then I can draw boxes over whatever I want them to be. Now uh, you can right click on the boxes and change the labels if you want. I do not recommend doing that. Oops. No. You can also draw new boxes. You can uh, shift click to delete these boxes if you don't want them. And then when everything is done, this is very important, you have to right click and accept the occlusions, which will put the information down here to make the actual occlusion card. So once those occlusions are accepted and this is here, then you can add the card uh, so let's add this to a the default deck just as an example. Click add and come in here. You can see now we've actually done this. And now one thing I will warn you about as well is I've had some difficulties if you try changing the max image height and width with this note type. Uh, sometimes it gets a little bit fussy uh, just because the occlusions will not line up to where you actually want them. Uh, so just a, a, as a heads up. Now uh, other features. I'm going to go back to my note type repository here. So you can see as I've listed these, I've already talked about the invisible countdown timer. I've talked about the clickable tags. The editable fields is the edit field during review add-on, which I close add-on. Not If it doesn't have close in the add-on name is the wrong add-on, it won't work. It might screw up your cards. So make sure it's this add-on here. And you can actually go into these. And I have mine set. Not everybody does. If we go here, edit field during review close and I click the config, um, I have mine set up so that you have to click control click the field. You can uncheck this and make it so that you don't have to do that. Um, but when I flip the card over, I can hold down my command button or be control on Windows and click and then I can actually edit this here. Um, and this works as well with these. You can click and edit those fields as well. You can also edit the close as well in the reviewer without having to hit the E key to get to the editor and load this and change it. So it's kind of uh, handy. Now another thing is the Wikipedia searches in reviewer. This thing is really cool. It doesn't work incredibly well because it's hard to do. So um, you can see I click there and this is pop-up dictionary. If I highlight a word and then hit the W key, which does the Wikipedia, I'm pushing it over and over right now, it's not doing anything. Um, if I go in here and type George Washington, because that is a far more recognizable topic in Wikipedia and hit W, it will pull that up. Uh, and I can and I can do that. So it doesn't always work. It's just uh, it's an added feature that is kind of handy, but it's uh, I wouldn't guarantee that it's going to work because things have to fit perfectly within a Wikipedia search uh, and have a page. Uh, now I already talked about the button shortcuts and the hint hotkeys add-on, the auto scroll, the hints, text to speech. Uh, the images will zoom with click or hover. This is a little bit different feature. It's kind of cool. Um, if we go to let's see, I don't have any images on this note type. Let's switch to this one. One card to rule. All. And if we go here, let's find an image. There we go. I can click on them and they will actually do this. And you can set this up in the node type. I can mention this later in the CSS uh, portion of this video, but you can you can make it so they get bigger. You can make it so that uh, it's just when you hover your mouse over it, all sorts of things. Um, just kind of a handy uh, extra feature I added in. But I don't make it do a lot by default just because it would uh, be a little bit annoying. And then we talked about this highlight all tags thing as well. So much of this has been done. You can see I have lots of to-do things on my list. Uh, this is a process, I, like I said, that we very much plan on continuing to do. Uh, we will always keep the releases here and keep track of updates. Uh, and, and my hope is that eventually this add-on will actually allow you to update things within the add-on. Uh, right now, if you don't have uh, if you don't have this, for example, instead of saying reset down here, it will say import, and you can actually import that note type from here. Uh, but that's really it for the note types uh, from the add-on perspective. So now I'm going to go into the HTML and CSS side of things. The CSS stuff, as I go back over here to GitHub, um, I was originally, this was before I planned the add-on and paid to have that done. Um, but it's all listed here on GitHub. Um, and if you go into each of the note types, it's, it's actually listed as well under each of those if there's specific things like that. Uh, so it's all listed on here if you need help, but I'm going to go ahead and show you kind of how that works. Um, one of the other videos that I've listed uh, somewhere in here, this one goes over how to customize card styling, just basic HTML, CSS. 
I'm going to assume that you have watched that video as I go through the next part of this, um, that you understand CSS classes and IDs. Uh, that's, that's important to understanding what I'm going to talk about. So if you haven't seen that, go watch that video. I'll put a link to this in the description of this video just to make it easy. Um, I'm going to go to the browser just so this is a little easier to evaluate these note types. And I'll go to the decks. Here's the note type. So if I go into the note type here and click cards, uh, this is the front, back, and styling. So each of these has customizable stuff, and I've put the customizable stuff at the at the top here. Um, so here's the text to speech, and you can see there's the little arrows commenting this section out. Um, so you would just uh, go here, you would delete this, you would add the double brackets, um, and then we'll go to the front here. Uh, you would delete this as well, and you'd add the double brackets, and that's going to add that uh, text to speech there. And uh, like I, I showed earlier in the video, there's the auto flip. Uh, here's the timer. We can change that back to nine seconds, which is what it was. Uh, the toggle tag shortcut, uh, and then here's like the what they would what tag will cause this to be read down here. Everything after that is just code that's going to stay on there. You don't want to mess with it. Here's the back template. Uh, so here's the hint shortcuts. Everything is labeled pretty appropriately. The only thing that's really not in the add-on per se is this stuff here with the close one by one note type and making it a little bit different. Uh, and you can tweak that however you want. Uh, this is the text to speech stuff. Here's uh, making the uh, edit field during review close add-on work. It added the edit thing here in front of the close text. And then here's all the button fields. So there's the one by one field and what it does if there is a one by one card. It adds these to reveal next and toggle all buttons. And then here's each of the hint buttons, the personal notes and missed questions, which we've turned the missed questions off. And so you can see that it's commented out right here. Uh, and that's something we did earlier in this video. And then the extra field, which is right here. Everything after that, you don't need to worry about. And then the styling, you can see if I scroll down, here's the end of the customization. And you can scroll back up and these are the ones I've labeled them to make it as easy as possible so that you can find it and quickly decide what you want to do. So if you want the tags, uh, you know, if I change this to none, you'll notice they disappear down here. If I change this back to block, they come back. Uh, and I've, I've put little hints here um, so that you can see exactly what things need to be. If you're using the no distractions add-on, which seems to be less popular than it used to be, uh, but you can bump these up a little bit so they're still viewable. Uh, you can change the font size. I currently don't have any of the iPad adjustments applied, but you can separately do that. You can take this comment thing here and put it at the end of here so that all this is active, so these two classes are active. Um, basically all of this, and then the colors and night mode colors are pretty self-explanatory. Other things you may want to mess with and tweak with, um, you can tweak with things, and if you don't like things italic or whatever, you can tweak that. Uh, everything's down here. It's, it's, it's labeled very well. Um, and then I mentioned like the uh, images will grow and with the hover uh, or, or the click. So if this is active here, if it's image active, then it's when you click on it. If it's image hover, then it's when you hover over it. And you can see I'm just making it grow to 1.2 times the size. Uh, and then this here is just telling it so that on mobile, oh, we don't want to do that because you're going to be tapping and scrolling with your finger and it just gets annoying. So there's no growing of images on mobile. Uh, and there's a bunch of other things here. Uh, this mnemonics left justified here is so that you can use the wrapper add-on, add -on, um, which can also add this text uh, if it's not already in the card type, but I put it in there by default. Uh, and then just everything else you don't really need to worry about. Uh, but that's that's kind of how the CSS works. And basically all of these note types play very similarly. Uh, you shouldn't have any issues if you edit these. So that's why I made the add-on to make it a little bit easier. Hopefully that's a little bit helpful. And, and uh, that's really it. Thanks for learning with The On King. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at OnKingMed. Also feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, OnKingMed.com, for more tips and tricks.